the law of attraction, without a doubt, attracts the most attention of the 12 universal laws. This spiritual principle basically states that opposites attract and that positive thinking can bring about a more positive reality. Welcome everyone in today's video. We're gonna look at what is attraction law and how does it work. Here are the basics of the law of attraction. What it is, what it isn't, and how you may use it in your life. But before we proceed, if you're new to this channel, remember, go ahead and to hit the bell icon to subscribe so you won't miss the informative videos we will upload in the future. This is 1000x more powerful than anything else. Say this for one minute, Louise Head. While employing the law of attraction to bring your wishes to life may appear straightforward. It actually involves careful focus, action, and a degree of surrender. Even if we don't realize it, opposites attract. We are always attracting either happiness or negativity based on the energy we give out. We are all like magnets reflecting and bringing to ourselves what we hold in our brains. Louise Hay explains, alternatively, to use Louise Hay's example. The law of attraction is analogous to putting a purchase order with spirit. When you request a manifestation, spirit will look for the best match. Nature despises vacuum cleaners. According to this notion, nothing can truly occupy an empty space. It must always be filled. As a result, purging negativity from your life is necessary in order to make place for constructive transformation. Like your workplace or bedroom, your mind must be decluttered in order to make room for new items that will better serve you. The present is always flawless. Perfecting the present moment is the third and last component of the law of attraction. It teaches us that there will always be reasons to be dissatisfied if we look for them, but finding solutions to problems that aren't working is critical to changing our reality so that it attracts the things we desire. Not that you can't notice or experience negativity as a result of it. Instead, concentrate on improving any negative situations as much as possible right now and let the rest go. What the law of attraction does not do, of course, believing in yourself and thinking positively will not be enough to bring your ideas to fruition. You must also make an effort. This includes living in accordance with your goals and taking the required steps to achieve them. For example, if you wanted to run a marathon in under four hours, you must train carefully and take good care of your body in the months leading up to the race. Adding some uplifting mantras and visualizations after that will assist the universe comprehend your intention even better. Everyone who is prone to worrying should understand that the law of attraction is not meant to punish them. When people first understand and begin to practice this law, they may be concerned that if they have negative thoughts or low vibrations, they will somehow ruin their lives, as Louise Hay observes. Because no one is perfect. We can use the law as a mirror of our own thinking and self-worth while we are going through a difficult moment. And as Louise Hay explains, it's critical to yield and allow the universe to take the wheel at each level of manifestation. Keep your eyes open for them because opportunities, people, and resources might arrive out of nowhere. It's all right if things don't go exactly as planned. How to begin applying the law of attraction today. Here are some ways you may harness the power of optimism in your life right now. Visualize. Imagining what you want to happen is a strong tool for making it happen. The desired future might be imagined in your head or physically realized through sketching. You might also create a vision board for your goals to help you stay motivated and inspired. Keep a gratitude journal because like act tracks like, consciously focusing on your blessings may help you attract more success into your life. Speak it into being. Speaking your desires out loud is another way uh, to bring things from your mind's fantasy to reality. Get up and declare out to the cosmos. I would like X, Louise Hay recommends. This is especially prudent if you are just getting started. Keep an eye out for coincidences. Synchronicities are major coincidences, appear nearly supernatural. If coincidences related to your goal continue to occur, it's a sure sign that you're on the right track to use the marathon example again. Perhaps your bib number continues appearing on signs or billboards. Reframe a scarcity mentality. When we're yearning for something we don't yet have, it's easy to get caught up in a cycle of scarcity and lack. 
Concentrating on your lack of love, money, happiness, and so on just serves to amplify that absence. Always strive to put yourself in the desired situation. Let go of your expectations of how things should turn out and let the universe to work its magic while keeping an open mind to what the universe judges to be best, suggests Louise Hay. How to apply the law of attraction to achieve certain aims, relationships, and love. The first step in applying the law of attraction to attract more love into your life is to become aware of any potential unconscious resistance. According to Louise Hay, the universe keeps bringing you unavailable people, which could imply something within you is still inaccessible. Once you've identified the problem, you can work on removing internal obstacles and adopting a more approachable manner with others. By tuning into who you genuinely are and what you desire, you can trust the universe to provide you the companion you need, not necessarily the one you think you want. Career Objective When applying the law of attraction to your work, it's critical to be clear about what you desire. When describing your employment ambitions, use specific language, such as I make X amount of money in X city, or I want to work with like-minded people who support my ideas. Of course, action is critical in this case. Consider what the promoted me would do if you want the promotion. Finances, because money fears are sensitive and genuine. It takes a lot of unlearning to create a healthy relationship with financial wealth. When it comes to money, it's very easy to develop a scarcity attitude. Instead, make an effort to focus on what you already have rather than what you lack. Louise Hay uses the phrase, abundance flows through me, so I can gladly share to aid her with this. It's important to start small and focus on making small changes in each of these areas. First, as you practice, you'll get more adept at manifesting and you'll eventually be able to make larger, more drastic changes. That's all for today's video. The law of attraction is primarily about shifting your mindset to one of abundance asking for what you want and aligning your actions with your desires. It may appear too good to be true, yet at its foundation. When you attain those goals, you will be able to take charge of your life and attract a wide range of chances. Don't forget to like the video and hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any new videos from our channel. Thanks for watching and see you all soon.